by decree, by apostolic mandate, everything that removes resources from your life, it is removed in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Logic Church is love. It's spectacular. It's excellent. It is everything that exudes the kingdom of God. Um, in that sense, I'm, I'm trying to say, uh, Logic Church has changed my life totally. Since I came to Logic Church, my experience has been phenomenal. Logic Church is authentic. And of course, the ambience is wonderful. The community is beautiful and the music is really awesome. When you experience it, your life cannot be the same. You can't go back to where you're coming from. So if I can, if I can go back to God, I mean, and it's Logic Church, you should, you should come with me. If I was not a pastor, I would be a member of the Logic Church. They say history is a significant aspect of life. History has an impact on our lives now. Christianity was handed down to us through history, and it is through the same history that God left his mark on the world. God's divine calling of Dr. Flores Peters served as the impetus for the founding of the Logic Church. Okay, so um, a Bible study and I read um, nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So, and I thought about it, L-O-G-I-C, logic, love of God in Christ. And I didn't want to do any conventional name and so I thought, yeah, logic will strike a chord. It may be controversial for some people. I'm not trying to be controversial, but it was just the revelation of the name. God gave to me, teach a generation about the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. That's how the name Logic came about. The Logic Church started as a prayer center led by Pastor Flourish in the Vincent's home, after which the venue was moved to the Ford Center in Lekki, Lagos. So we, 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 we started a prayer meeting from, I think started at Ayo's house, VJ, then we went to Tokwe's house, another phase of the pre, um, the pre-logic experience, if you know what I mean. And then we were believing God to come into Cairo's hub. I had gone to see the place with Tong and maybe Dikin Adin. And we were like, we love this place, we love this place. Some guy miraculously sent for me. I say this all the time because it was the, it was the biggest green light I got from God through what he did. I'm not sure he actually knew weight of that giving um, at the first installment of you know paying for Kairosol. Kairosol bill for a year was 24 million. It came with all the equipment, the lights, the sitting area, everything was paid for. He says God says to me to give you 15 million naira and you know remember I froze but I you know as a as a sharp guy I coordinated myself <laughs> promptly but that really changed the trajectory of the first phase. It was the green light I needed from God that, you know what, I'm not this alone. I'm not in this alone. Rather, you know, when you when you hear, when God gives you a vision, he makes provision. It, that, that was my, my, my experience. Today, the Logic Church headquarters sits on a 600 capacity space in the heart of Lekki, Lagos. We outgrew the place in no time, in less than a year. I remember looking for a place for church. I tried a lot of places. The Spirit of God led me here one time. And I saw the place. I saw the bill. It was daunting. I didn't know what to do, but all I knew was this faith. So I would park in front of this hall and I'll be prophesying to the hall. People of God, I just drove here again to prophesy to this place. Let the money come in the name of Jesus. Hey, Bible show prayer for the others. The Lord needs this place. Yeah, you the word of the Lord. Make up a wish. The funds released now in Jesus' name. Amen. I sat with the owner of the place. We struck a deal. We dropped um, something, and that came by God's grace, and we just moved into this place. And the rest, they say, is history, but I've seen the grace of God. Responding to God's call and running the vision and mission given to him, mission being to build a family 
where grace and faith is preached and the love of God in Christ is felt a home for everyone. And the vision being preaching the gospel, which is the grace of God, to our generation by the help of the Spirit, empowering and impacting people to flourish in every area of their lives. In the world where hate has become the new order, the message of love is definitely needed. And this is what the Logic Church stands for. And running this vision along with Pastor Flourish. So my experience so far, um, showing you a picture of what I was like before the Logic Church would do justice to your answer. Um, in that sense, I'm trying to say uh, Logic Church has changed my life totally. By the grace of God and by the Logic Church, I am what I am today. You know, I look back at my life and the life of my family and, I, I, you know, I, I don't even, I can't even imagine what life would have been if we were not in the Logic Church. You can't be anywhere that the gospel isn't. And so um, when I look at the church in Lagos, I, I'll most likely want to be in the Logic Church. So as a believer, it's not enough to speak in tongues. It's not enough to be able to recite scriptures. Are you allowing the Holy Spirit bear fruits in you? So the interesting part of 2022 would be throwing her in the deep end of the pool on Sunday morning to preach something that she hasn't done. A week before the preaching happened, I knew I was going to preach, but Pifla was not ready for me to preach. Even when it was suggested a thousand times, he was still looking for who to preach, and I was right there. It wasn't necessarily that I was nervous, but it was just that, you know, he had these big shoes, and at first I was thinking I was going to go and, you know, are they going to listen to me? But the Holy Spirit kept telling me, I have a message and I'm just using you as the vessel. So for me, that always calmed me down that I wasn't trying to impress anybody. I was just going to have a conversation. That's one of the things he actually told me, I'm going to use you to have a conversation with my people. And so even in the message, part of what I kept saying was, this is a family conversation because really and truly, that's how it was downloaded to me. It's a family conversation. As we create a congregation of believers who continue to embody and demonstrate God's unwavering love, the principles that gave rise to our church still hold sway. I experience different things every, every, so on Sunday, I experience something else. On Wednesday, I love the prayers. Then the Saturday, stretch prayers. I love the intensity. So it looks like a very cool, cool church, but it's very deep. The Logic Church has not only been a blessing, but a home for everyone. The love shown by members of the church to one another, the love shown by the church to her members, is indeed the true love of God. I was born into the Muslim family, into the Lawao family. My mom is an Alaja and my dad is an Alaji. I heard about the Logic Church from my friend. It was on a Wednesday, she was coming to church and she was just like, oh, Oh, Rodia, follow me to church on that Wednesday. So I joined the Logic Church in June 2022. Yes, and they have, since then I've been here. My soul was searching. I've been to a lot of other churches, like I've been to a lot of church, and I just don't like what I hear. I wanted to serve God better so bad, and he sent me here. So I feel like the church is, if, you find yourself in the logic church is because God wants you to be there so it's good to stay planted and yeah I want everybody like the whole world to just listen to this message and I try my best to connect everybody you know what to listen to this I, I've brought my I've told my dad that he's going to come to this church my mom is going to co come here whether she likes it or not I'm bringing everybody I'm inviting people every day please come to this church you need to listen to this you need to be free you need to you know know who you are in Christ yeah so I think I've been to church about um let's say 10 to 20 times since 2016 just because not because I actually wanted to be in church. And um, I had beef with God, actually, for a, very, for a while. We had beef. And then we found ourselves again. But I still wasn't going to church until August 14th. No, I think it was um, the day before. My friend asked that I should come with her to church. And there were two people actually telling me to come to church. 
to their different churches. I told her she has to pay my Uber, she has to find me clothes, she has to, she, she said she was ready to do everything. So I went with her and I remember that I started dancing from the gates before I got inside and it was, it was wonderful. I can't forget the feeling. And then when I heard P. Flo speak, I knew I was home. Three years, and indeed we can only say it is by his grace and of course by God's faithfulness. From the birth of our first baby in March 2020, today we have about 15 babies born. Our first marriage joining in 2020. To joined together in the church. The Logic Church is an example of a healthy church, as it is evident in the church's growth as well as in its expansion. The Logic Church currently has the Abuja, London and Mainland expressions. The Lekki Church now has two services with about 600 members per day. All of these made possible by God. God said, keep moving. And today, with a leap of faith spreading her wings even to the ends of the earth, the Logic Church celebrates her third year with branches in Abuja, Lagos mainland, Kotonou, London, and eagerly looking forward to Canada and Atlanta, as people over there are already hungry for a taste of the Logic Church. So one thing about the Logic Church mainland for me is that I, I think that it's not just about me pastoring, it's about Pastor Dr. Flourish Peters uh, because one of the things that's done for me is to give me an idea of what pastoring is. I understand what it feels like. I mean, just having my leg tiny bit into your shoes, I can't even feel it. <laughs> but I, I would say thank you and um, it's been great. It's been great. People are growing and they love God's word and they are participating. They're going all out for the gospel and it's a gospel forever. One of the things that we see is that the gospel tribes on our account and we are, we're working with that and we're pushing this thing out there. God is glorified and people are edified. Just a few months ago in the month of September as a church we celebrated our one year anniversary. The world is growing and spreading the hearts of men and even in the city. I know God has great things and stuff for us even as a branch church here in the city of Abuja. God is up to something like the Flo would always say. It is not a cliche. It has started already. Logic Church has successfully held the Jesus Plus Nothing Conference for two consecutive years, and the success recorded can only be from Abba. disgraces. God covers. God protects. I'm not trying to be blessed. I'm already blessed. He died. We were in his death. When he was buried, we were in his burial. When he rose up, he died for me. He died as me. When he was buried, I was buried with him. When he resurrected, I resurrected with him. Now I'm seated in Christ in heavenly places. Upon this revelation, which is Jesus, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not. So the church is originally built on the revelation of Jesus. ministry is moving. Today, the church runs with 19 departments headed by visionaries who have dedicated their time into the Lord's work. Um, so working with a pastor and father and the Lord as Dr. Flourish Peters, who is an OG as far as music is concerned. Um, he was a professional musician and keyboard player for many years. So having to be music director, with him as senior pastor, you should understand that he doesn't joke with details. Many times, um, you get he gets involved in our music, and rightly so, you know, because um, as a church, music is our core value. 
right? Worship is our core value. So he gets involved to the very letter of what we do, the very details of what we do. So um, what it has helped me do is to not drop the ball at any point, both, both in the angle of the art of music and the ministry of music. Well, we're like the smallest department in the Logic Church. <laughs> yeah, but it's been absolutely amazing, you know, um, um, keeping the health of our Papa and also the workers and members of the Logic Church in check, making sure, um, you know, everybody is fine, trying to avoid and avert any forms of emergencies, medical emergencies as much as possible. It's been a little challenging, but, you know, we have been able to through and through, you know, life is not without challenges. So we've been able to pull through and through, you know, and we hope to do better, you know, in the coming years. But it's been absolutely amazing. We're responsible for first timers uh -huh. and we minister to them and find out how their experiences are during and after pastor's ministration and what exact word they've taken home from pastor's teaching. Because one of our core values is to impact, the Logic Church feeds the people within and beyond her environs. As promised by God in his word, that miracles, signs, and wonders shall follow those who believe, as a gospel preaching and a Bible reading church, we acknowledge the amazing miracles, signs, and wonders that follow us. People send me messages like, you know, people I was jumping from one married man's bed to another governor's bed and to another this bed but right now i don't have appetite for that anymore my greatest my greatest achievement i was a, you know i was in the ministry of agriculture you know and you know i don't do that anymore this is a great achievement we are very certain that him who has begun a good work in us will definitely finish it and we believe that we at the logic church are only just beginning we are only just beginning. Logic in years to come. So I'm very confident that Logic Church will be planted all over the world. If God has helped us achieve this feat in less than three years, including the pandemic, I dare say that um, in the next two to three years, the world is going to hear about the Logic Church, and I mean that like I know my name. So in five years, global impact. We are grateful for the move of God in this dispensation, and we are definitely here for it. Um, I'm excited about what God has done. If God can do this in less than three years, the next five years will blow our minds. Things are happening here. We can't wait. <laughs> Somebody give God a sign!